Welcome to Zach D TV, the place for interesting news from around the net. In today's episode, we are going to look at a new bionic lens that can give you better than 2020 eyesight, a recall on some hackable pacemakers, and we're going to wrap up with healing broken bones using bubbles. There's a bit more to it than that, but let's go with bubbles. And remember, if you want interesting news seven days a week, go ahead and click the subscribe button over here and make sure to hit that like button so I can keep making more of the content that you enjoy. All right, let's get into this. There is a company going into human trials this year for their bionic lens. Ocumetics Technology Corporation has been developing this lens for the last couple of years. It is supposed to radically improve eyesight, prevent cataracts, and they're hoping one day to have a computer interface integrated into this lens. And here it is, this is the bionic lens. This is put into the eye very similar to how they do the cataract surgeries. Which if you wanna see something cool, check that out. My father just had it done, took no time to get done and totally restored his vision. He went from having to wear glasses to not needing them at all. But back to this, they use the same principle as doing cataract surgery. So the small incision into the eye, slip the new lens in there all rolled up, and then release it when they pull the tool back out. It opens up and it's good to go. The difference here is this lens sits on top your original lens and kind of works like binoculars, but in your eyes. It relies on the minuscule movements of the muscles that already flex your lens to cause this lens to move in and out and come into focus. Supposedly, it also uses a lot less muscle energy. So that way it'll take care of things like fatigue, or stress when reading a computer screen. It's also supposed to take care of cataracts by a deionizing principle to actually pull the fog off of the lens. Because I take it that fog in a cataract is actually kind of like rust. And like I said, according to Dr. Garth Webb, he wants to see this come to a point where you'll be able to get like a heads up display broadcast into your eye be able to connect to other users of this bionic lens and see what they're seeing. There are things this can't correct, of course, like color blindness or damaged optical nerves. And there might even be a little bit of concern that people with this lens could be seen as cheating because it is actually mating man with machine. But like I said, they are going forward with human trials. Initial adopters will be paying $3,200 dollars per lens as before the price of surgery to get these installed. And in my opinion, something like this, why don't we let it hit the market and be out there for a couple years before I even consider putting this in my eye? What do you guys think about it, though? Would you jump on board for the initial adopters, or would you have to wait a little bit to see what this actually does? Well, since we are on futuristic human implants, here's one we've been implanting people forever. But since it has become internet accessible, it's become a problem. The FDA is requiring updates for 465,000 pacemakers in America. These are the pacemakers put out by Abbott Medical. They used to be known as St. John's Medical and they are internet connected. It allows your doctor to go in, see patient information. In fact, there was a guy convicted of arson because of the data on his pacemaker. Anyway, and they could change the heart rate by going into this program. Well, it has now been found that there's an exploit in the operating system that would allow this to be attacked by hackers looking to take over the device. Although they do say they can't do anything through the hack other than increase the battery drain, so that way it needs to be charged more often. But I'd have to think, if the doctor can control heart rate, couldn't the hackers too? I just think they don't want to scare people. But Abbott is doing the recall. The doctors have received the software patch, and they are bringing their patients in one at a time to give them that update to their pacemaker. Kind of a crazy world we live in when you have to worry about hackers and your beating heart. Eh, it is what it is. And let's wrap up with a new way to heal broken bones. Doctors recently have been playing around with something called bone morphogenic proteins. These are proteins that can trigger cells to grow bone. It's been a long road and they're running into some pretty significant side effects like bone growth in the soft tissue near where the stuff was injected, or even like bone resorption. What they've come up with, and what seems to be working very well, is a tactic called sonopuration. The basic of this is, they use a sonogram to vibrate little capsules that have these genes in them, so rapidly that they force their way through the cell wall and into the cells, delivering this gene therapy directly to the targeted cells. It's a pretty neat concept. The holes are also so small that they're very easily repairable, doesn't cause a lot of damage like you would with a syringe. And it has shown promising results so far in animal trials. They trialed this technique on broken pig shin bones. First, they inserted a collagen scaffold around the broken bone. The scaffold was put in place to hold specially designed stem cells around the area. 
They then used this gene therapy by encasing these proteins in the micro bubbles and vibrated them into the cells. After one treatment and eight weeks, all the fractures were healed. The control group that didn't get this treatment, their fractures were still there. So this is very promising. It's a great way to deliver drugs. This may have future uses for delivering other gene therapies as well. We'll see what the future may hold. And on that note, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for stopping in. I do this seven days a week. That is with a live stream on Saturday and a short on Sunday. So I hope to see you here again soon. So until next time, have fun and be safe.